This video is for educational purposes only. Only test your own hardware. Doing otherwise is illegal. Don't be a skid. What's going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. So I wanted to start this video off with a bit of a confession. Now, I wasn't even going to make this video to start with, but so many of you out there asked me to do it that I couldn't say no. Now, I, like so many of you out there, struggle each and every single day with not owning an iPhone. I have made it 37 years. Actually, I had an iPhone for a very short amount of time in like 2014, but we're not talking about that time. We're talking about now. I have been on Android and I've been very happy, but once this feature came out for the flipper, I was at a loss. All I want to do is put out great content for you guys, and you guys have been asking for it, but I couldn't. But thanks to everyone's favorite Amelia from Discord, we've got some B-roll so we can make it happen. We're going to be taking a look at the latest dev version of XFW, which has the exploit in it. It's a super simple app that allows you to Bluetooth spam any iPhones and annoy the crap out of absolutely everyone. But remember, only test your own devices. Don't be a skid. It's you. I'm talking to you. Don't do it. All right, that's enough disclaimer. Let's get right at it. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm testing out having this printer running in the background during a video. Um, if it's gonna be loud and distracting, I probably won't do it again, but you know, interested to see how it goes. All right, so first thing right off the top, we're taking you to the XFW Discord. Enter at your own risk. It is 18 plus and they do not put up with skids there. It even scared off Mudahar from some ordinary gamers. I would stay away from the Discord servers because one Discord server in particular has a lot of adult photos being shared, um, which uh, again, if you wanna keep everything safe for work, just stick to the GitHubs, okay? That's the only advice that I'm feeding you. All kidding aside, no, they're good people. I know Clara and Willie, but um, again, if you go in there and be a skid, they will tear you to shreds. All right, so let's put on our big boy pants and get in there. All right, let's get in there. So we'll fire it up here. What we're going to do is go from, I'm in the rules channel right now, go to reaction roles, and then you can sign up. You can click that for dev updates. That will unlock the dev updates channel. So then you can download the latest firmware TGZ visit site. We're going to go ahead and save it to the desktop in a second. Save. And then we can install it via our normal update process. All right, now that we have our file, I'm just going to go ahead and plug my flipper in. Per usual, you know how you do. And then we're going to start up QFlipper. Give it just a second, and then we're gonna go ahead and install from file. And then we're gonna go from, whoops, not there, desktop, and install that, and click install. This takes a minute, but you know, it takes a little time, and we've done this over and over and over again. You know how this goes. Roll, Lofi, roll. Now back to our show. A success, hit continue, and yep, you know you're on XFW once you've got this as your landing page. Probably gonna be blurred out, sorry, but, here we go. So from here, it's really simple. We're just gonna go ahead and go to apps. It's right up here in Bluetooth. And then it's the Apple BLE spam. So I think it's actually a good idea to go back through the help files here, just so we get an idea of what's going on. So you actually can run this attack while running other apps, but apparently it interferes with it. So, you know, they tell you it's best to stay in the home screen. Now the BLE delay is the amount of time between the attack attempts. It shows on the top right, 20 milliseconds apparently is the best results. Now the distance is limited, I mean obviously, it says the attacks work under one meter, but if you have been marked for a longer range. So this is not really as powerful of an attack as it seems, but you know, you can still do some pretty crazy stuff. Now the proximity pair attacks keep spamming, but work at a very close range, so we'll take a look at those when we get there. And the nearby actions work, but they actually you need to lock and unlock the phone to use them again, so again, limited usability. So let's see what goes on. So this is just a random action. This is set to 20 millisecond uh, delay. We talked about that earlier. It is a nearby action. And, you know, it's going to shuffle all the random actions as you go along. I'll go through all the rest of the attacks while we're here. There's actually 34 of them, so maybe not all of them. Let me actually just pop over onto Amelia's footage and we can see what it looks like in real life. So we have the Apple TV settings. There's a bunch of different things you can do there. Um, you can pair with different iPhones, transfer numbers. You've got, you know, your AirPod connections. You've got Beats connection, AirTags, uh, more Apple TV stuff. I mean, really, there's just so many different things you can do with this. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, it, the, the list keeps going and going. 
All right, so let's go ahead and run some of this spam and see what it does. Gonna go ahead and pull up the uh, screen grab from the phone. And then we're just gonna start running these attacks. Now you can see on the screen, they're popping up the Apple TV keyboard autofill. Uh, we're gonna try to connect an Apple TV and you can see how quick and easy it is for these things to work. I mean, just spam after spam over and over again. It's kind of cool. Now, again, as we had mentioned before, some of these you will have to like unlock the phone after using, but again, you kind of just mess with them and see what they do. Now, we also had mentioned before that the proximity of the flipper is actually important for some of these. So right here, running the AirPod Pro, it needs very close proximity because, you know, it's used to the AirPods being close to you. It doesn't actually want you to pick up somebody else's AirPods. So that's kind of why they have it set up for such a close proximity on that one. It's also pretty important to note that some of these dialogues do have to be closed like that one before. So when you're running these, you have to kind of keep things like that in mind. And finally, we're going to take a look at the AirTag emulations. So we're going to spam one of those. Um, again, we're getting a little bit closer to the phone to run this one. But yeah, you can see it wants to connect to an AirTag. Again, really, really cool stuff. This is why everybody's talking about this particular exploit. Really cool. There you have it. It's the Flipper Zero iOS BLE spam that everyone's been talking about. So yeah, that's more or less how the app works. That's really all I could show off. But again, thanks to Amelia for the B-roll, we can see how this works in action. We can assume that Apple's gonna have this patch relatively soon, but who knows? It is all over all the news cycles, so they have to know about it. Again, try not to be super annoying with this, but you know, you do have to be really close for it to work. There's, I don't believe any of these attacks work particularly far, but again, I can't test it. Now, another interesting thing that I've heard people talk about is the possibility of code injection using this same exploit. I am in no way an expert on BLE or iOS, but I do know a few people I can ask about, so it might be worth digging into. I know Kalani and Peaks over in the OMG channel of the Hack5 Discord, those guys have some really interesting iPhone exploits that they've been working on. If that's something you're interested, please leave a comment down below to let me know. You guys asked for it and I owe it to you to deliver, so if there's any other topics you want me to cover, please make sure to leave a comment down below. As always, hit that like button, bonk the subscribe button, it means a ton to me. You guys are the best. We'll catch you next time.